Hey everybody, it's Fam321 here, bringing you some more Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 Wi-Fi battles. This is a net new match I got against someone by the name of Blastoise FC from the Smogan Wi-Fi Battle Finder. We both basically did, uh, played this match really late, and so pardon us if our mistakes are really bad because we were both kind of tired. But yeah, I'll go ahead and leave a link to his username or his YouTube channel down in the description. So yeah, go ahead and check him out. And yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and begin the match. So right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my executor and he's gonna go ahead and just lead off with his Ludicolo. This is actually pretty good for me because well I do have Psychic and the Psychic should do a lot to Ludicolo, Ludicolo because I am choice specs but for the first turn he's gonna go for the fake out and just to get some cheap damage off but yeah this turn he's gonna go for the Ice Beam and I'm, I know I can live it because I have a ton of HP and I did manage to live it but he got my Executor frozen so that kind of sucks because well basically my Executor screwed so basically I'm just gonna let him finish it off with one Ice Beam and that kind of sucks because I was kind of hoping Executor could do more in this match but whatever I'm gonna go switch out into Tauros because Tauros can easily KO this Ludicolo but he's gonna go ahead and switch out and he's gonna go out into Torterra because Torterra is really bulky and well uh, he can take rock climbs from Tauros easily. Like I said, I went for the rock climb because it is my most powerful move that I have. And, well, it's enough to 3-head KO this Torterra, so that's really good. I'm going to decide just to stay in because if I did decide to switch into Rapidash, Torterra is part ground type and he had the chance of uh, going for the Earthquake. So that's why I just decided to stay in because I figured that this thing's more bulky than offensive. So, well, his moves shouldn't be doing too much damage to my Tauros. But, yeah, I'm going to go for one final rock climb. And that rock climb is going to be enough to KO his Torterra, so that's really good that I got one of his walls out of the game really early on in the match. Now he's going to switch out to his Monferno and I'm going to basically switch out because well I was fearing that he had the Mach Punch and the Mach Punch would do a lot of damage to my Tauros. I'm just going to go out to Rapidash just to basically sacrifice this thing. But he went for the close combat and basically throughout this match I am always predicting that he has a mock punch but he never reveals that he has a mock punch so I'm kind of confused on what moveset he has but yeah now he killed my Rapidash and I'm going to switch out to Sock because Sock is choice craft and it can basically one hit KO this Monferno but yeah he's going to switch out to his Electros I guess he was predicting me to go for the Stone Edge but no I just went straight up for the close combat and the close combat I'm hoping is enough to maybe two hit KO this thing and it is enough to two hit KO this thing so now I know the next turn I can just go for one more close combat and basically outspeed this Electros because well Electros is a really slow Pokemon but yeah I went for one final close combat and that's going to be enough to KO his Electros now he's going to go ahead and switch on to his next Pokemon which is going to go ahead and be his Monferno again I thought he had the Mach Punch so I'm going to go ahead and switch out because well I did use two close combats in a row so my defense is really low but yeah, like I said, I predicted he had the Mach Punch, but right here he just went for the close combat, so, well, at this point I'm kind of thinking that he doesn't have Mach Punch, but, well, I still, I'm still not too sure, so I'm gonna have to play a little bit safe. But yeah, I just went out, basically my, basically right now I'm sacrificing my Regirock, but he decides to switch out into his next Pokemon, which is gonna go ahead and be his Regice. I'm kind of shocked, I mean, he could've just killed my Regirock with another close combat, but no, he decides to switch out into his Regice. I went for the Earthquake right here, and I did get a critical hit, so that's really good, because a critical hit might help me kill this thing. I'm gonna go for the Toxic this turn, but the Regice avoids the attack, and that kinda sucks, because now he's gonna hit me with an Ice Beam, and, well, that Ice Beam is gonna do a decent amount of damage. I'm hoping that after the uh, Leftovers recovery, I can live an Ice Beam from the Regice, but no, I can't so that's gonna be enough to kill my Reggie Rock, which kind of sucks but whatever I'm gonna switch out I'm gonna switch out to Sock because Sock does no close combat and well close combat is gonna be enough to kill this Reggie Ice and yeah I managed or I'm gonna go for the close combat and it is enough to kill the Reggie Ice so that's really good because well that's another one of his walls that are gone because Reggie Ice has a massive special defense but yeah he's gonna switch out into his Monferno and right here I'm basically just gonna decide to stay and just go for the close combat because well I figured that he didn't have Mach Punch and I know a close combat should be enough to kill this Monferno and it is so that's really good because that Monferno was a huge threat to my team it crippled my Regirock and it killed my Rapidash so yeah now this thing is gone it's pretty good for me now he's gonna switch out into his Ludicolo and I'm gonna switch out into my Gorbis because well basically I'm hoping that Gorbis can take any move that this Ludicolo throws at it he's gonna go for the fake out again basically to get some cheap damage off but yeah he managed to outspeed my Gorbis turn and he's gonna go for the Giga Drain and well that's gonna easily be able to kill my Gorbis luckily he doesn't get any HP back so yeah I'm just gonna go on to my Tauros 
because Toro should be able to one-hit kill this Ludicolo. I'm just going to go for the Rock Climb. And because I do have the Life Orb, that should be enough to one-hit kill this Ludicolo. And it is enough to kill it, so that's really good. Now he's going to go ahead and switch out into his next Pokemon, which is going to be his Tauros of his own. I'm hoping I win the Speed Tie, and I do manage to win the Speed Tie. So I'm going to be able to finish off his Tauros with one last Rock Climb. And that's going to be the end of the match. Good game, Blastoise FC. So yeah, that's the end of the match, guys.